Ja. Hello, my lovely. So welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be the monthly readings for the month of October. Yay! October season is finally here. I am so excited. I hope you guys are excited as well as it is the beginning of the season for all of us <laughs> on this side. We get pretty ecstatic about Hallow's Eve. And um, yeah, definitely comment below. Let me know how you guys celebrate or if you guys even celebrate it. We do. It is um, very exciting times on this side. Anyways, if you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide, any readings, consultations, or spell work, click the link on the description box below. You'll be able to find our Shopify on there as well as any of our books or our journals. You can find all of that. All the Amazon links are in the description box below. All right. I do encourage you guys, if you guys are looking for readings, definitely book now as it is the busiest season all the way to probably March. So if you guys are trying to get in your yearly readings, uh, now is the time to do that. All right. Here we go. We're going to begin here with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what you guys can expect for this month of October, 2023. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I encourage you guys, if your rising doesn't, or I should say, if your sun sign doesn't resonate, always watch your rising moon or Venus. Uh, if you watch all of them, you'll get a better picture, big, uh, bigger glimpse into what you can expect. All right, my lovelies, here we go. Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus, spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward. Allow us to see, hear, sense, feel, and receive the messages loud and clearly here for our Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus for the month of October, 2023. All right, here we go, Libra. We're starting off here with the 10 of cups, eight of swords, and the death card, the strength card, and the hanged man and king of swords. Okay. So what I'm seeing for you, Libras, is your happiness or what you would consider fulfillment is right at the cusp or the brink of a major transformation or a major change. There is a refusal that you're doing right now. It's almost like you're resisting change or you're resisting what you thought your picture perfect was and maybe a change Libra maybe it's time that you um sit with yourself and figure out exactly what it is that you want sometimes in life we are so fixated on what we want that when we finally get it it's like there's almost this feeling of realization that maybe it's not exactly what you wanted or maybe it's not exactly what you hoped it would be and I feel like that's kind of the theme that you're going to be going through for this month of October. It's almost realizing or coming to the realization that what you considered happiness or what you considered was what you wanted may no longer be exactly that. And the strength card is here to tell you it's okay uh, to change your mind. It's okay to want other things. It's okay to outgrow certain situations but try the best you can uh, not to resist these changes that are coming about, okay? That's going to be very important for you for the month of October. It could be in connection with relationships. It could be in connection to, like I said, quote unquote, whatever your happiness is or whatever it was that you were working hard towards achieving. It's almost like you're achieving it or you're experiencing it, but it's not the way you thought it would be in your head. Um, King of Swords and the Hanged Man is having the need to see clearly and transparently without the without allowing yourself to almost feel tied or feel bound to a situation um ultimately making a decision or not making a decision is still making a decision do you get what i'm saying so always know libra that no matter what happens no matter what is transpiring in the month of october you are always in control of the situation and how you control it is by how you react to it. The more you try to resist change or the more you try to resist 
those feelings that are coming about that are making you feel tied or burdened or for some of you guys even feeling like you're responsible for certain things for certain people for how certain people may feel know and understand that it's not your concern and it's not your responsibility how other people feel it's your responsibility to acknowledge your feelings and what it is that you want and what it is that you no longer want and it's okay to change your mind libra all right my lovelies now moving on All right, we're going to go now with Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October, 2023. If you guys like these readings, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you are new. We have tons of spell videos, obviously coming, tis the season. <laughs> and we have a lot of readings, a lot of readings that are going to be coming you guys' way. We also have the series that I promised you guys, um, Spooky Stories. It is, um, we're going to be doing story time as well as I'm going to be uh, doing some, you know, some special things here and there for the celebration of Hallow's Eve all the month of October, okay? All right, let's see what's going on with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October, 2023, Scorpio. All right, here we go, Scorpio. All right, we're starting off here with the Four of Swords, Ace of Cups, the Justice card. Oof, the Tower. Okay. All right, Scorpio. For some of you guys, there could be some type of distancing or some type of disconnect that you're currently experiencing, either with a loved one, um, with someone that you were dealing with. I feel very strongly, like for some of you guys, it's almost like you're going to be experiencing an aha moment. And it's almost giving me the energy of, it's almost giving me the energy of that Libra energy. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the Libra. We do have the justice card here. Um, but it's almost like there is a disting distancing or a pulling away. This could have been your partner that is either um, not communicating at the moment. For some of you guys, there could be a temporary separation. But I feel that through this process that you're currently going through or that you're currently going to be going through, Scorpio, there is an aha moment that happens for you. There is a realization. And there is a realization of acknowledging that you've allowed people to take advantage of your heart or your loyalty. And this is going to change the whole trajectory of your life moving forward. Why do I say that? Because we have the Ace of Cups with the Justice card, right? So the Ace of Cups is a representation of a new beginning. It is also the representation of a bountiful amount of energy that is healing or that is coming to you with the justice card, bringing balance that creates a major transformation and shakeup with the tower card here. So again, the five of cups is disillusionment. It is feeling let down or feeling um, like you're in a mourning process. But I feel that with the wheel of fortune, this is going to change completely how you view relationships and connections. It's almost like you're coming to the realization of what you're capable of bringing to connections, to relationships. This is not just in love. This could be in any type of connection, whether it's with friends, with family, whatever. You're understanding that it's a give and take. It's a balance. And from that, you're no longer going to empty your cup anymore trying to fill other people. It's almost like you're putting your happiness or your priorities or what you want before others. And I feel that this is major because it's something that you've needed to do for quite a while. For some of you guys, it's going to be a rough month. I'm not going to lie, because I feel like there's going to be a lot of relationships that are either going to become stronger or are going to completely fall away. And this, like I said, could be romantic, but it can also be with family, with friends, with colleagues, with people that you surround yourself with or that you work with. 
it's understanding the give and take and the balance that needs to happen within that exchange of energy. So it's almost like a realization of, and for some of you guys, it's even like the disillusionment or like the blindfold coming off and really seeing the person for who they really are. And it's a hard pill to swallow. But in doing that, it's like, I see you even questioning like, wow, I did all that for them. It, it, it's it's an aha moment. It, it's your eyes becoming wide open. So like I said, I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's going to be challenging, especially if we're talking about relatives, family, loved ones, you know, people that we really care about. It's almost like the mask is coming off and you're forcing, or I should say they're forcing you to see people for who they really are. But the beauty behind this is that it's going to completely transform your energy. Why? Because you're no longer going to allow half-assed people to waste your time. All right, Scorpio. Moving on here. We are going now with Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on for Sagittarius for the month of October 2023. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what you guys can expect for this month. All right, here we go, Sagis. We're starting off here with the Lover's card, Nine of Swords, Ace of Swords, Judgment, Seven of Pentacles, and the Star card. Okay. Sagittarius, I feel like you guys are being, I feel like you guys are being forced to make a decision, a decision that perhaps doesn't make you feel comfortable, or perhaps it's a decision that you've known you've needed to make for quite a while, but you've refused to either step up or to make that decision. And I feel like for some of you guys, this could be in connection with like dealing with more than one person. For others of you, it's still having the energy of a person from the past, uh, but trying to move forward. So for some of you guys, it could be that you are dealing with someone new, um, but you're still entertaining someone from the past. And it's almost like hopefulness that they're going to change or that they're going to prove something to you, Sagittarius. I'm going to be honest, Sag. If they haven't proved it up until now, they're not going to prove anything to you. So stop wasting your time. Um, time is the most valuable thing you can ever have. And it's something that should not be wasted. Um, with the judgment, I feel like you're, again, you're going to feel the pressure of having to make a decision. Um, and what they're showing me here is don't wait it out. You're the one that decides Sagittarius. You're the one that decides what you deserve and how you decide that is how you allow other people to treat you. So stop entertaining people from the past or people that are temporary or people that are just passing or people that are just using you, whether it's on a physical aspect, whether it is um, financially or whether it's them coming to you all the time because they need to vent, they need someone to hear them out. And you're that one person that is willing to, you know, loan them an ear basically, or you're the one that's willing to be the shoulder they cry on you guys need to understand and here's the thing a lot of people you know this is something that I often see when I'm doing readings and often the the conversation or the answer to that is usually well you know it doesn't cost me anything to hear them out you know it, it that's just the type of person I am we get that but the truth is that when you're dealing with people, it's an exchange of energy. And if the people that you are being there for, right, they call you at two, three in the morning and you answer because you care for them and you love them and you want to support them. If they're not willing to do the same thing for you, right? And if you don't know if they're willing to do that, you should test them. 
And if they're not willing to reciprocate that energy, then it's wasted energy. And in fact, you are wasting your energy. Hearing people out and hearing their problems is also something that affects you because you're taking on their energy. You know, it's kind of like the situation where uh, I've gotten into debates with other people when we talk about, um, you know, people that practice what I do. It, it, it's it's not just, you know, being able to tap into your psychic abilities. It's not just being able to interpret the cards. It's not just being able to channel. You're also a therapist for people. You're also hearing them out. You're dealing with them. They come to you for all kinds of problems. So it does affect our energy, which is why spiritual baths and cleansings are so important to us in the practice. We have to do that. Why? Because we have to be energetically on point, you know? So it's the same thing with you guys. If you're dealing with someone that comes to you constantly, right? Or that you are trying to be the patient partner, the, you know, you're dealing with someone that doesn't want to give you commitment, um, but they keep telling you, I love you. And they come to you whenever they have problems and you hear them out. And they can even reciprocate with wanting to give you what you're wanting and what they know you deserve, which is a commitment. Then if they can bring that to you and they can give that to you, why are you entertaining it? You're wasting your energy. And in wasting your energy, you're not valuing your own energy. You're not valuing yourself. It's kind of like what I say. We often teach other people how we want to be treated by what we allow others to do to us. So again, I feel like you're being pushed to make a decision that you've known you've needed to make for quite a while, Sagittarius. This doesn't have to be in love. This could just be with the people that you deal with on an everyday basis. It could be the friend, you know, the colleague, the coworker that's always asking for help and you don't know how to say no. But when you tell them, hey, can you cover my shift because an emergency came up, they'll be quick to shut that down. Learn to appreciate and value your time and your energy, Sagittarius. You're an amazing person. It's time you start seeing that for yourself. All right, my love lace, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Capricorns. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October, 2023. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with you, Cappies. You guys definitely stay tuned. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe so you guys can get notifications of the most recent videos going up. We're going to be doing a lot of exciting things for Hallow's Eve. Story times of paranormal experiences. Obviously, us witches is something that we deal with on an everyday basis. Um, we're going to be doing channeling as well. By the way, you guys comment below your favorite artist or person um, or famous person that you admire, that you love, uh, that is no longer with us. Uh, comment below so that I can take notes and I can see who you guys want to communicate with. All right. And we will do exactly that. All right. Let's see what's going on with my Cappies. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October, 2023. Here we go. Cappy. All right. We have the Lover's card, the Ace of Swords. The King of Cups, the Six of Wands, wow, Capricorn, seven, oh, seven of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. Okay. Capricorn, there is someone that you were dealing with in the past, or perhaps that you connected with, or perhaps that you were casually seeing that you're no longer in contact with is going to be coming back around in the month of October, okay? That's the first thing that I got. Now, 
when we're talking about love and romance Capricorn, I feel like the month of October is going to be extremely busy for you. The lover's card is the general energy. So a lot of passion, a lot of intensity here. Okay. It is a major arcana. So it's almost feeling like you have choices or feeling like you have options. There is a pressing option or one that may be putting a little more pressure on you for the month of October with the Ace of Swords and the King of Cups. This is a person that's coming to you or that will be opening up to you. They know exactly what it is that they want, and they're not afraid to tell you exactly what it is that they want from you, Capricorn. I feel like this is a new energy. It's not someone that you're dealing with. However, if you're already recently dealing with someone the past month, this could be the person's energy that's coming up. With the Six of Wands, a lot of attention is coming to you, Capricorn. And like I said, I feel like I feel like you're having your moment right now. <laughs> people are taking notice. People are seeing you. People are connecting. They're vibing to your energy. I feel like you guys are having a glow up type of thing going on. Uh, for others of you, it could be that you're just naturally pulling a lot of attention right now. Um, the Six of Wands does indicate to me a lot of people wanting to get your attention. This could be through social media. This could be random people DMing you trying to contact with you. Um, but I do feel very strongly about this water sign could be cancer, Scorpio, Pisces type of energy. Um, this could be also for those of you Capricorns that have uh, Pisces placement, either in your seventh or fifth house. Uh, this is a person that's definitely going to be appearing in your life in this month of October. Now, with the seven of pentacles and the four of swords, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're coming out of either seclusion or you're coming out of like not dating, um, especially those of you guys that have been single for a bit and you were working on yourself or you've been healing. You're finally coming into this. I, I see you guys stepping into the limelight. I'm not going to lie. And I feel like you guys are getting a lot of attention, a lot of notoriety for some of you guys. Career and finances is going to be booming for you guys. Um, especially those of you guys that are in sales or marketing, I do see, like I said, you drawing the public's attention. Um, so now is a perfect time to put the metal or to put the pedal to the metal. Um, and I set that in a question mark. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Um, but it's really time to step up this month of October Capricorn, especially at work. Why do I say that? Because I feel all this attention is coming to you. You don't want to be slacking. You want to be pushing yourself, like pushing yourself, because there's going to be a detrimental moment where someone very important is going to take notice of your achievements or what you're capable of doing. And I feel that this has a lot to do with the fact that they get motivated in seeing what you're capable of doing and they want to see more. So these are people that may help you either rise to the ladder for others, if you run a business, it could be someone coming to you trying to partnership or trying to invest or trying to put some type of capital in your business. So again, now it's the time to really step up. Do not slack off in the month of October, Capricorn. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October. 2023 Aquarius Sun Moon Rising Venus. Okay, we have two cards popping out. I'm going to pull them back in. Aquarius Sun Moon Rising Venus for the month of October 2023. Let's see what you can expect for this month, Aquarius. We're starting off here with the Queen of Cups, the Sun card. Oh, all right, the Sun card, King of Swords, Six of Wands, Seven, oh, sorry, Six of Pentacles, and the Empress card. Wow. Interesting. Okay, Aquarius, I feel like if you guys have been struggling financially or like things haven't been necessarily stable when we're talking about your career, or when we're talking about your finances, or if you have a business, 
business hasn't been that stable. I feel like that's going to quickly be changing. You have this, the sun card here with the king of swords. This is talking to me about unexpected blessings coming your way. Um, however, I want to really encourage you guys, uh, Aquarius, to try the best you can to shake. And I think the last reading that I did for you guys, they spoke about this. I really want you guys to count your blessings. Make it a habit, Aquarius, because this is what, what's happening. You have abundance around you and you have opportunities coming your way. But when we get so much in our head that we become a bit cynical, what happens is that you kind of repel that abundant energy, even if that opportunity is right in front of you. Being cynical or seeing things like, oh, life is so hard and it's so gloomy, um, you kind of block your own blessings. So with the sun and the king of swords, you have to keep in check your way of thinking. Because this is this is through where your blessings are going to come in. How, how grateful are you? How blessed are you, Aquarius? Instead of complaining about how things are going wrong, focus on the things that are going good. And I know that this is like hard sometimes when we're going through nothing but struggles. But the simple fact is, you know, having a roof over your head is a blessing. Having the water turned on is a blessing. You complain about the water bill or the light bill, right? But it gives you water and it, you know, keeps you, it keeps you going. You know, it gives you light to be able to see in the dark. You know, you complain about the gas bill, but it keeps you warm at night. It helps you feed yourself. You know what I'm saying? What I'm trying to say is that you don't have to wait for something major, Aquarius, for you to be grateful for it. It starts with the simplistic things. When we have a grateful heart, we have abundant energy. Why? Because your heart is open, like wide open. And the blessings that are coming your way come much quicker because there's no resistance there. If you're able to be thankful for, you know, finding a quarter on the ground and it gets you as excited as if it was a hundred dollar bill, that's what changes your vibration. And I feel like if you're able, if you're really able to work on this Aquarius for the month of October, you're going to be experiencing a very abundant month. Very abundant. Six of wands is victory. It is attention. It is, you know, admiration. People noticing you. A lot of the time, you know, I have clients that tell me, Pinky, I don't even get like, a fly doesn't even land on me when we're talking about relationships, right? And they're like, I don't know what it is. Like people just are not drawn to me. It's not that they're not drawn to you. It's that you're closed off. And if you're closed off, we go off, us humans go off of vibration. You know, if, if you pass by someone, even if you don't know them and they're extremely negative, you, you almost feel repellent, like you're repelled from them. You don't want to be around them. And sometimes when you walk in a room, it's like you can't help it and your, your eyes naturally go to a specific person. That's the most um, strongest vibration in the room. So again, it starts with gratefulness. I see a lot of abundance and a lot of success for you in the month of October, Aquarius, but it's going to come down to your way of thinking. It's going to come down to the habits that you are picking up on uh, when we talk about your way of viewing life or your way of viewing, you know, your life. Success is there. Abundance is there. But it comes down to you acknowledging the blessings that you have right now. 
here and now to be able to experience your future blessings. All right, my lovelace. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October, 2023. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh. Okay, let's see what's going on with Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October, 2023. All right, here we go. We have the Four of Wands, Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Magician. Wow, beautiful energy, Pisces. I don't think I've seen that much of a good reading for you guys in a while. All right. So I see you guys working on the foundation of relationships. For some of you guys, this could be with your loved ones. This could be with people that you kind of fallen, you know, away from um, reconnecting. For others of you, it's working on your specific relationship. Um, with the four of wands, it's questioning the stability of it and making the decision whether to work on it, want to put more effort in it, For some of you guys, it's realizing that you want to work on a relationship because perhaps you were a bit distracted. We have the seven of cups here. So for some of you guys, this could have been having options or dealing with multiple people. For others of you, it could have been the partner that was entertaining other people. But it's almost like realizing that you want to not give up on the relationship and you want to put more effort or you want to work it out. If you guys have been in separation or distancing, I see a reconnection that's happening here, but I'm going to be honest. If you were dealing with a partner that was dealing with multiple people or that was entertaining other options, I feel like if that's your situation, Pisces, and you decide to put effort in this, continue the relationship, I feel like you're going to be experiencing like a reconnection or a deepening of the connection, but it's only going to be something temporary. I don't see it really lasting. Um, and the reason I say that is because right at the center, we have the seven of cups. So it's, you know, making the decision of working it out based on illusion based on what you're hoping. You know, it's a hope. It's not a reality. And with the two of cups and the magician, I feel like you're trying so hard either to fix the relationship or to manifest the relationship working out. Um, and again, I do see a bit of sturdiness, a bit of, a bit of stability moving forward. Um, but I still feel like it's going to be something temporary. It's going to be something that doesn't last very long. Um, so again, if you are dealing with the person that was dealing with multiple people and all of a sudden they're acting, you know, like they're all in and, and they really care about you and they're making you a priority, pay attention to their consistency. If you start to notice that after a week or after two weeks, they start going back to the old behaviors, just know that they're back into their fuckery. Okay, um, straight shooter, and I'm giving it to you guys 100%. <laughs> All right, moving on. Now, the positive in that reading for you, Pisces, is that for those of you guys that are not dealing with someone that was entertaining, but it was actually you, the one that was entertaining other people, I feel like you're getting focused this month and you're realizing that the reason why the relationship wasn't working was because you were too busy, you know, putting energy in other things that I, I feel you guys like prioritizing. And I feel like you guys are being able to put that relationship first and working at it, that it actually does work out. Okay. I just wanted to put it out there. Like I said, um, it's two different storylines for those of you guys that are not dealing with someone that was entertaining, but it was actually you 
that perhaps was entertaining other options. I feel like you're getting more focused and you're realizing that you want to work it out and you actually do put effort in it this month, uh, Pisces, and I do see it stabilizing for you guys, okay? All right. Moving on here. We're going with Aries. Let's see what's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, oh, we got parts flying out, okay. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October, 2023. Let's see what's going on. See what's going on with Aries. All right, here we go, Aries. We have the full card. Queen of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and Seven of Wands. Okay. Aries, stop giving opportunity to people that have let you down already. Okay. You're not the innocent child anymore. You're not, um, like, it's not okay to be the, What's the word I'm looking for? It's not okay to be like the crazy, the crazy romantic type that when you get to fixated on a person, you run off of illusions and you make up all these stories in your head. Like that's great and dandy, but after a while, after dealing with multiple people, you got you kind of have to face up to the reality of you need to be more practical, Aries. You need to be more grounded when we're talking about relationships and partnerships. I see you guys quickly or like rather rather quickly when the relationship gets challenged, um, being tempted to walk away or or run away from responsibility. But with the full card as a source of energy, I feel like it has more to do with the fact that you refuse to you refuse to be tainted and you decide to be hopeful, but you're too hopeful. It's like through the experiences that you have gone through. Through the experiences that you have gone through, I feel like you should have learned to read people a little bit better. But I feel that instead of doing that, there's almost like this habit of running away from a situation or running away from responsibility or when the relationship gets, you know, a bit challenged, you kind of disappear, you kind of run off um, and then just hope for things to work out themselves so that you guys can go back to normal. And what spirit is saying here is like, you're not, if you're not willing to put in the work, don't expect things to change, but we're talking about the work that needs to happen within yourself. Aries has nothing to do with your partner has nothing to do with the people around you. It has to do with the way you choose to process certain situations. Do you get what I'm saying? It's almost like you rather run away from things that you have to deal with and then come back to it later and hope that it would fix itself or that it fix itself. This is like giving me very much not wanting to take self-responsibility. Um, like you don't know how to deal with emotions. I feel like you're scared. You're scared of dealing with your feelings or you're scared of dealing with things that are happening because maybe if you allow yourself to actually feel and process those emotions, you may realize that the person you've been putting so much effort towards is probably not worth it or that they wouldn't reciprocate that energy. For some of you guys, this is like with family and friends.
It's like you made it your mission to be so different or to stand out in your family, in your group setting, in your relationship that some of you guys have a habit of like running away because you like to be chased or because you like your partner to like be the one to chase after you and be like, Aries, talk to me, talk to me, like, let's work it out. You know, you're going to be very tempted this month, Aries. You're going to be very tempted um, to new and exciting things. I feel like when things become so stable for you guys, it's almost like your defense mechanism to fuck it up. And I feel like this month is going to be very, very like tempting for you. I feel like you guys are falling into some type of routine and there is a desire of excitement and chasing something new. But why are you doing this? Why have you done this in the past, Aries? Is it because you don't know how to process your emotions? Or is it because you choose not to hear others? Like not hear them out. You try so hard not to connect with them. It's almost like the fear of feeling so much. But at the same time, it's like oh, I think I get it. For some of you guys, you try so hard not to emotionally attach yourself to other people or to your partner. You have a tendency of running away when things get difficult, but it's only because that allows you to actually get away. Whereas if you process the emotions or if you talked it out, and then and you guys are doing great and routine hits it's like you have no ex like excuses for running away or for pulling back or you have no excuses to tell your partner you know i need my space right now i'm gonna be honest aries i'm getting like vibes you guys are terrified of emotional attachments but I feel like at the same time, you use that as an excuse to get away or to, you know, shake things up when you feel like it's become stagnant or it's become boring in your life. I feel like the month of October is going to test you in the sense of, do you know what it is that you want? And if you say yes, I feel like the universe is going to bring to you a temptation where If you fall into that trap, I feel like you yourself doesn't even know what it is that you want, Aries. So I feel this month is going to be challenging in the aspect of almost like temptation being served to you on a platter. Um, but I feel that the reason for that is because you have to become more assertive in the things that you want in life, Aries. What matters to you? And having to deal with the responsibilities of that, whatever that may mean to you. All right, Aries, that was a bit uh, all over the place. Not sure what's going on there. Moving on here. Let's go to Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October 2023. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Taurus. All right, Taurus, we have the Five of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, the full card, Nine of Pentacles, the Emperor card, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, 
So interesting energy. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have been waiting on some type of financial gain. For some of you guys, this could have been like uh, waiting to get an incentive, a bonus, a raise. And I feel like at the moment it was supposed to happen, it didn't happen, or they kind of they kind of looked you over or overlooked you. And there's almost this feeling of like, for some of you guys, it could be as simplistic as feeling a little bit emotional because in your head, you always pictured or envisioned a certain a certain way of living at this point in time in your life or at the age that you are right now. And it's almost like feeling like things are not moving as quickly as you would want, or am I ever really going to experience, you know, whatever happiness means to you, Taurus. So I feel like there's a lot of internalizing happening for you guys this month, but I feel like it's a very positive thing because this is really going to motivate you. This is really going to get you, like get the ball rolling in regards to what you want to make happen. For some of you guys, it could be that you've been single for quite a while and you start to be more proactive in embracing a love life. You start putting yourself out there and actually dealing or mingling with new people. For others of you, it could be that you realize, you know what? I don't want to be working a nine to five job. And you actually make it happen to start your own business or to start something or to pursue some type of passion. And I feel like this internalizing monologue that's going on within you, I feel like it's very positive because it's going to get you in alignment with what it is that you want. And you're being proactive about it by actually taking, you know, chances by actually taking or making moves towards your goals, towards your aspirations, towards what you're wanting to achieve. There is an opportunity that's coming to you guys for some of you, Taurus. Um, you may actually be meeting a, a new person that's coming into your life that is not necessarily your type. For some of you guys, this person is older than you. This is a business person or someone that has been within their business uh, for quite a while. This is a successful individual or successful woman. Doesn't have to be masculine. Um, but I feel like I feel like this person comes into your life at the right moment, and it's not just to say that. I feel like they're they're coming with expertise, something that has to do with expertise that's going to be helping you or that is going to be opening your eyes to what it is that you need to make happen. And it's almost like they're schooling you or it's almost like they're teaching you or they're speaking to you um, knowledge that perhaps you wouldn't you wouldn't know about unless you're dealing with the person that is quite successful like this person. So I feel like not only is romance around you, but I feel like this person that comes into your life is going to be uh, very important because I see them like a guide. I see them like a teacher. I see them like really, you know, telling you exactly what to do to make happen whatever it is that you want to make happen whether it's success, whether it's more abundance, whether it's going up the ladder, what, whatever it is. I feel like this person that's coming in for you this month of October is going to really help you. Have more. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, have more structure in your pursuits. and your new endeavors. Sometimes that happens, you guys. Sometimes we, you know, get a little bummed out or we start thinking about how, you know, life was like five years ago. And, you know, we have a tendency of like, 
envisioning our life to be a certain type of way. And then we realize like life happens, you know, and our plans usually don't go the way we would hope they did. But it's not a way or a reason to feel defeated or to feel like you won't be able to accomplish that because I truly believe that when things that are unexpected happen, that's when our life completely changes and transforms and only takes one day. You know what I mean? Like it only takes one day to turn your life completely around for the better. And it's through these unexpected events that like transform our life, that change our life, that change our perspective or how we view things or how we see things. I see a lot of abundance around you, Taurus. I see a lot of success coming your way. For some of you guys, I see love and romance coming your way as well. But like I said, I feel like there is someone that's coming into your life that is going to help you have either more discipline or more focus or to actually know exactly what moves to make to make things happen. All right, my lovelies. Moving on, let's see what's going on with Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October 2023. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Gemini. Oof, Tower. Three of Pentacles, the world. Queen of Swords. Four of Pentacles and the Lovers. There is a major shakeup that's going to be happening with you, Geminis. I feel like there's an opportunity that's coming to you guys um, in this month of October where you're going to question what is stable or what stability is for you. And should you pursue that new endeavor. So what I'm saying is there is a major shakeup in regards to an opportunity that comes your way that is very unexpected. With the three of pentacles, uh, it may come to you through a colleague, an employee, a friend, a coworker, um, a relative, a loved one. It's a, a, it's a three type of energy. So again, I feel like someone may come to you with an idea like, hey, Gemini, maybe we should start, you know, a business. Maybe we should start this. Maybe we should come together and, you know, um, sorry, you guys, give me one second. Maybe we should come together and, you know, um, start some classes or do this. Or I heard that this is um, doing very well. Maybe we should invest in it. And I feel like it's a major op opportunity. It's a great opportunity, honestly, but I feel like you're wondering if it's worth you taking the risk. Um, and I see you guys very much in your head doubting for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that are like going to be tempted into like either investing or putting money or starting some type of business with a friend or someone that's close to you. Um, I feel like you're questioning if it's a good idea or not. And what I'm seeing here is that the result of this is going to come down to your effort, Gemini, to how much are you willing to put in the work? If you want that new business to succeed, if you want to know if that new business or that new partnership or that new investment is going to succeed, the answer to that is yes, if you're willing to put in the work. If you're not, then don't do it. It's that simple. Because I feel like this is a great opportunity. It's a great, you know, not only opportunity, but I feel like it puts you in a position of getting to the point of being able to pull away from what's considered stable would, would be a nine to five job to actually run your own business. So you have more 
you have more freedom, you have more creative freedom, you have more, but it comes at the cost of like, are you really going to work for it? Whatever new endeavors come about, Gemini, for this month of October, opportunities, um, people wanting to invest with you or you wanting to invest in other people, um, whatever new project may come about, it's quite simple. If you want to succeed, are you willing to put in the effort? If you are, then definitely do it and you will see major rewards. If you're not willing to put in the work, then there's no point to it because it's going to be a very risky move that was unnecessary. You didn't need to take that risk. For others of you guys, especially those of you guys that are married or in a long-term committed relationship and things haven't been going that well, and you can't quite put your finger on it, you're going to hear this month or you're going to find out this month that the person you're with may have been entertaining another person, may have been entertaining a third-party situation. And I feel like that comes to the forefront this month of October. And it's almost the realization that you're going to have to deal with or you're going to have to face Gemini. Um and to those of you guys that I am speaking to right now that are in a committed relationship or in a marriage and it just hasn't been working out, I feel like you already knew this. Um, you felt it maybe intuitively, but for this month or throughout this month, it's going to be coming to the forefront. It's something that you're going to have to address. All right, my lovelies. Moving on, let's see what's going on with Cancer. Let's see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of October 2023. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, I'll put it back in there. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, let's go. Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, the full card, Ace of Cups, Judgment, and the High Priestess. All right, Cancer. I see a lot of opportunities coming to you guys this month of October. I feel like your finances are definitely going to better improve this month. Um Although I would highly encourage you guys to keep an eye on your spending, especially uh, when it comes to your children or what your children are expecting from you. Um, don't make any major purchases this month. Yes, your finances are going to be much more stable and much more better, um, but you should be smart with your money right now, okay? I don't want you guys to, you know, it's kind of like when you start to see money come in, um, that you get a little too excited and you start spending unnecessary, <laughs> unnecessary spending. Um, so be smart about your money this month, Cancer. I also do see an opportunity to connect or reconnect with someone from the past. For some of you guys, this could be a Pisces. For others of you, this could be an Aries, um, Aquarian energy. I feel like this person um, from your past is going to be reaching out to you, but I'm going to be honest. I would not put all my eggs in that basket. Judgment and the high priestess does indicate to me like coming to you or reconnecting with you, but like on the down low or like not necessarily like trying to keep it private. So that leads me to believe that this person may still be entangled or may still be dealing with someone um, in their, you know, I don't want to say previous relationship because I feel like it, it's iffy right now for them. And that's the reason why maybe they're like snooping or looking around or looking to see if the grass is greener on the other side. Um, so don't put all those, you know, all those eggs in that basket, Cancer. Uh, be a little bit weary of that. And, and like I said, especially if they invite you out and they want to like hang out with you or like hook up with you and it's like late at night, obviously 
it's not someone that is willing to put in the work. It's more like a casual thing. I would not, I would not even enter entertain that, to be honest. Judgment of the high priestess indicates to me that this person is still or may still be attached, and they're trying to keep that on the down low. All right, Cancer. Moving on. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Leos. Leo, what can you expect for this month of October 2023? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these readings, like, share, and comment, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. You guys definitely stay tuned for more um, readings as well as story times, scary story times, and channeling sessions that we're going to be doing like i mentioned to you guys earlier comment below and let me know who your famous um favorite celebrity that has already passed on uh is for you guys and whoever gets the most i guess whoever votes the most of that one celebrity we will be doing um channeling sessions with them okay so you guys definitely stay tuned for that all halloween season all right Let's see what's going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. Okay. Oof. We have the three of swords here. Six of cups, the death card, the star card, justice, and the hanged man. Okay. Leo, I see you guys definitely putting an end already, an end to something that was either you were still dealing with or you were still refusing to accept the ending of something. This could be friendship. This could be a relationship. Um, I feel like with the three of swords, this, this has been something that has been ongoing. Um, it's almost like you've been going through a healing phase or you're going through a healing phase because you were refusing to accept what was and that it was time to move on or that it was time to heal. However, I feel like the month of October is really going to bring you around loved ones and uh, friends and people that are just going to renew your energy or bring to you more people, more new energy that is really going to, it's almost like a, a shot of energy that's going to be coming your way. Uh, where you're going to become much more excited about the future and willing to embrace new beginnings. I see you guys really focus towards the, you know, projects, new endeavors, um, things that you're really wanting to make happen. Uh, I see you guys much more focused and determined this month of October. If you guys have been feeling a bit off, I feel like for a lot of you guys could be platoon and energy that's been affecting you. Um, however, again, like I said, I feel like there is a transformative energy that's happening here, uh, with the death card and the star card. It's like, you're being illuminated or you're being guided, um, to what you should be doing or to whom you should be with. So again, if you've been holding off on wanting to see if a certain situation was going to fix itself, or like you guys can bounce back. I feel like you're coming to the realization that you're better off or that you're moving on or that you're ready to move on. And that's when things start to shake up for you. That's when things start to change in a very positive way. The star card and the justice card does indicate to me bringing balance and being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. This can also indicate planet alignments uh, starting to align in your favor. The hanged man next to the justice card indicates to me seeing things from a very different perspective, but I feel like using that in a spiritual sense to be able to manifest or to bring to you your truest desires. So I feel like this month is going to be monumental for you guys. For some of you guys, I'm going to be honest, for some of you guys, it could be that you're ending friendships or relationships or connections that just haven't been working out anymore. For some of you guys, it's realizing that you've outgrown those connections. Um, so I feel like it's coming to the forefront of understanding like, yeah, we're very different, different people. Um, we have nothing in common anymore, or I don't want to associate myself with this person anymore because they're kind of dragging me or, or, or bringing my energy down. And it's like almost taking responsibility for the people that you allow in your life. So I see a lot of cutting 
of connections, Leo, which is not necessarily a negative thing. If you obviously want to elevate and grow and vibrate from a higher perspective, you want to surround yourself with people that motivate you, not people that drag or feed off of your energy and leave you very, very weak of energy. So again, I feel like this is, um, it's almost like opening your eyes to understanding that who you allow in your life has a major impact and you're making the decisions, either they get cut or fully embrace them. Um, but for some of you guys, it's cutting off a few friendships that are just becoming a burden at this point. Uh, this could be relationships as well. Like I said, if you've been working out a certain relationship, you're coming to head and realizing that it's more of an of a sacrifice than than anything else. And at this point, it's becoming inconvenient. So I see you guys really taking your power, taking your charge back and making decisions and being unapologetic about it, Leo. All right, my lovelies. Now moving on to Virgos. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Virgos. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus for the month of October, 2023. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Hey, like I was telling you guys, if you guys are trying to get personal readings, now is the time to do so. This is the busy season for us and we usually get booked all the way to March. So if you guys are trying to get your readings for the new year or the end of the year, now is the time to do that. Um, you guys definitely stay tuned. If you guys are new to my channel, subscribe as we have tons of new videos coming through for you guys, tons of spells as well. It is the season and comment below. Let me know who your favorite uh, famous, you know, celebrity is that has already passed on so that whoever gets the most votes or whoever uh, select or whatever celebrity gets the most votes, uh, we are definitely going to be channeling them in a few of our readings as well as uh, story time, paranormal. We're going to be doing all of that for this month. So exciting, exciting. Sorry, you guys, <laughs> I dropped a few cards. Okay, let's see what's going on with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Yes, you guys heard right. If you have a celebrity that has passed on that you would like to hear from them, definitely comment below. As we have a series that we're going to be working on this whole month of scary paranormal story times, as well as channeling and connecting with spirits. So. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys are as excited as I am. All right, here we go, Virgo. Let's see what's going on with you guys. We have the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Hierophant, the Page of Pentacles, and the Chariot. Okay, Virgo, I see you guys walking away from a situation that has really put a lot of stress on you guys. For a lot of you guys, it's something that you were really working really hard towards, whether it was a connection that you were trying to make become something or stabilize this relationship, making it much more a committal type of relationship. Um, but I feel like you guys are realizing this month that you're better off or you're realizing that nothing is really coming from it and at this point i feel like you guys are valuing more your time now so you're coming to the realization of it's not really worth it and i'm just walking away and i'm finding my you know my happiness if this person can give me that happiness i'm walking away from that i see you guys really walking away from a lot of things that are either not deserving of your energy or not deserving of you and in doing this, I feel like you guys are finding your purpose. For some of you guys, you're finding your value. It's almost like you're realizing that 
it's almost like you guys are realizing that you are someone to be valued and you are Virgo. For some of you guys, it could have been a situation where you were fixated on convincing someone that this connection was or had potential for something long-term. But I feel like you're tired at this point, Virgo. For a lot of you guys, you've really put in a lot of work or you've been extremely patient with this person. And I feel like this person only strung you along. And it's like you're saying enough is enough. I'm done. I know what I deserve and I'm not going to settle for anything less than that. You want more time? Find someone else that is willing to wait for you. I see you guys really like taking ownership of your power. You're realizing, you know what? I want a long-term committed relationship. If you can't give that to me, get out of the fucking way because I will find someone that is willing and wanting the same thing I'm wanting. I see you guys more aggressive in your pursuits this month for anything that has to do romantically or with your finances. And in doing so, or in, in doing this and taking this approach for a goal, I feel you guys much more empowered. And I see you guys achieving more. Page of Pentacles, it's been a very long process for you guys. It's almost like it's been a journey. But with the chariot, you will be able to succeed. You will be able to attain your desires. The moment you realize that you deserve them. The moment you realize that you deserve what your heart desires. If it's success you want, you deserve it. But you have to start believing that, Virgo. You have to know that in you, no one can teach you this. This is something you have to learn for yourself. The more short-tempered you are or less patient you are with people, the more you're going to realize the people that truly and genuinely deserve you, the people that truly and genuinely value you. Because those are the ones that are going to be calling you out on your shit, like, whoa, Virgo, calm down. You're a little bit aggressive. And the ones that are not and like are intimidated or pull back is because they're starting to see you be more assertive and they don't like that, Virgo. But in life, we have to be assertive. The advice for this month, Virgo, don't let people play with your emotions or try to manipulate you through your emotions. If you're wanting something, don't allow people to make you feel bad about it. Be aggressive in your approach to what you want out of life. All right, my lovelies. All right. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings, like, share, and comment. And like I said, comment below. Let me know who your favorite celebrity is so that those that have passed on, of course, so that in our new series that I'm going to be doing of channeling, we can communicate with them. So you guys definitely stay tuned for all the videos coming through for you guys for this Hallow's Eve. Whoa. <laughs> And I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.